Welcome back to daytime, everyone. Do you have an ugly wall in your house? Maybe it just needs a little texture. You can cover over all those imperfections. That's right. Well, the professional who can show us how to do that is here. He's our own Jeff Monsignor, and he's from Splat Paint. Welcome back, Jeff. Thank you. It's nice to be back. Um, good thing to uh, cover up not-so-nice walls and, and a fancy way to do it. Why don't we take a look at some stills that we have, okay, for great. example. Examples of textured. There's a ceiling. This is a ceiling with a pattern on it. Um, it's... There was a normal ceiling, and we added some interesting pattern on the ceiling. Nice. I, I think you'd get a sore neck doing that, but <laughs> there's a wall. And we're going to actually show that finish close up um, today. What is that wall? That ridges, it, ridges yeah, it's ridges. sort of like corrugated cardboard. Huh. Okay. All right. You could scratch your back up against it easily. <laughs> <laughs> Good thinking. The cat went like it. Uh, there, I like that. Actually, looks like Venetian plaster or something. Just sort of a real heavy texture on the wall. I uh, refinished a basement, and I did. I did the ceiling, and of course, the ceiling. You know, it's tough to do a ceiling, especially uh -huh. when you're doing your own speckling and, and and taping and everything. And I ended up covering it. I put sand in mm -hmm. uh, in a bucket of spackle, and and ended up making just kind of a. Rough. Aren't you creative? Yeah, it's well, perfect. Painted over beautifully. You couldn't see my, my bad lines or anything. <laughs> That's great. Right. And, and you can actually you can use this type of a technique over paneling. If oh, you want yes. to get rid of the lines that are in paneling or um, um, concrete block. Well, let's let's get to so, going so, here because I've had the wood paneling in one of the homes that I bought, and and that's exactly what I did. So, I just started covering over it, and uh, you don't have to go out and get drywall. You can really cover sure. it up nicely. And right. So you basically, you just take a joint compound, or you know, any type of uh, inexpensive plaster, and just you know, cover your wall, and that's sort of what I'm doing here. And whatever tool you like, you can use, you know, a blade like this, or you can use one that's like this, with, you know, which might be more fun. And just go with coverage. Now you don't right. have to add anything to that, right? It comes just like that. This particular type comes wet, already made up. Perfect. Right. That's what I like. Right. The easier, the better. And then you have different options, and we, we're showing on this table different things that you can do with the same product. So instead of, there's there's so many different options here, but like for instance, this might be something, a squeegee that you would use for um, applying maybe wallpaper or something like that. Mm -hmm. And you could normally go like this, and but I sort of like to use it backwards. And obviously that's what you and, did and there. And that's what this is sure. here. Just trowel it through, and that yeah. creates that texture. That's and then good. when you paint it, it looks more or less like that. It's Easy. very forgiving, it's isn't like it? It's like something you paid extra for, and it was really simple to do. Yeah, exactly. Nice. You could have also used a broom to do the same thing, and it gives you a more subtle texture. Oh, yeah. Now, this looks difficult. That's, yeah, that's not going to be something I'm going to pull off. Getting the look of a um, brick on your wall, which I would love to have in my living room. Actually, not so hard. Really? No. Yeah, you can do it. I sure. know you can do okay. it. Take a, um, a stir stick or a... Um, or a, uh, a yardstick, mm -hmm. and you basically uh, to create your lines. That's just, the thing, creating yeah, the lines. They have to be straight. straight. Well, actually, you know, well, they're, not, they're not using any kind of a yeah, if, my, if my wall was that size, sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long wall. Right. So this is one way that you can do it. And, you, you know, obviously, if you measure it, it will be straighter. But sometimes bricks are a little fun if they're not quite so straight. This also. is true. It's, this all, is true. it's amazing how fast it can be done, too. Very you, fast. you can cover stuff really quickly with spackle. You just throw it up there. And That's right. Wait for it to dry. Put some primer on it. Paint it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you could be done. It's a little more freestyle here, which I think right. is most agreeable to most people. That's more with my, my garage, uh, my ceiling. And, and then that's a typical wall finish, but you can do that with joint compound. And what did you use to do that? Just, uh, just any of my tools here. Just huh. sort of, you know, smushed them around, just like, like that. And when you paint it, it looks more or less like that. You can't really mess that one up, no, not, which is very good. Hard. And how quickly does that dry? Um, depending on the, the product that you're using, the next day you can go ahead and paint it. Okay, so it's forgiving. So if you mess up, you can go oh. and fix it. Oh, it yeah. won't dry instantly. Oh, and if you don't like it, put more on it. And just keep layering. <laughs> just keep going. Yeah. Soundproof your home. Um, this is interesting. It almost looks like a fish scale right. kind of pattern. And you can do that again, just at the same, starting with the same base here, and you just you're just turning. Your tool, like this, I may be doing it upside down That's because I'm not doing used to it. <laughs> but you just, you just go from the top to the bottom and, and twist it like that, and you're going to get that type of a pattern. You can use a bigger tool, a smaller tool. And could you do this over a really hideous wallpaper? You could if you put an oil primer down first, so you seal everything back there. Mm -hmm. Then absolutely. Jeff Monsignor from Splat nice. Paint, thank you very much. Well, pleasure. Thank you, sir. More day time to come. Stick around, folks.